Hi, Sunshine community. It's me, it's Isaac, and I am here to read Chapter 9 in Lines at Lunchtime. Let's get started. Chapter 9, Tiptoe. Jack and Annie crouched in the tall grass. There was a big lion with three lionesses and a bunch of cubs. I think they're sleeping, whispered Annie. Yeah, said Jack, but for how long? He pulled out the Africa book from his pack and opened it. He found a picture of lions sleeping under a tree. He read in a whispery voice, After a pride of lions have, has eaten, they rest for a few hours. The other, What did they have for lunch? Annie broke in. Don't ask, said Jack. He kept reading. Sensing that the lions are not hunting at the moment, the other animals graze nearby. Oh, and then I have to show you the picture. Look. There they are. There's the lion. And there's Jack and Annie's treehouse. I wonder how they're gonna get through. If they can graze, then we're safe, said Annie. She started to stand. Wait, Jack pulled her down. Not so fast. He peered around the, the words in the book seemed true. The zebras and the giraffes didn't seem to be bothered by the lions at all. They might be safe, but I'm not sure about us, said Jack. We need a plan. And what if we wait until they leave, said Annie. That could take hours, said Jack. Plus, they might be hungry again by then. All right, said Annie. So here's the plan. We tiptoe, said Jack. Tiptoe? Yeah. That's your whole plan, said Annie. Yeah, tiptoe to the rope ladder, said Jack very quietly. Good plan, Annie teased. Just do it, said Jack. He stood up slowly. Annie stood with him. They began tiptoeing through the grass very slowly. The lion flicked his tail. Jack and Annie froze. With his tail, when his tail was still again, they moved again. Suddenly, high-pitched laughter split the air. Jack and Annie stopped. The hyenas are, were back. They were standing off to the side watching Jack and Annie. Jack and Annie were silent, made silent monster faces and shook their fists, but the hyenas only laughed more. The big lion stirred lazily. He opened his golden eyes. Jack felt the hair ray, rise on the back of his neck, but he didn't move an inch. The lion lifted his head and yawned. Look, there the hyenas are. There's Jack and Annie, and if you look closely, it looks like maybe Annie's making some faces. The lion lifted his head and yawned. His giant teeth gleamed in the sunlight. The lion turned his head as he looked around sleepily. Jack held his breath as the lion's gaze rested on him. The lion sat straight up. His piercing yellow eyes met Jack's. Jack's heart raced. His mind raced. He remembered something he'd read. Lions avoid giraffes. Jack looked around. There was a giraffe walking around the tree that the magic tree house was in. Suddenly, he had a new plan. Get under that giraffe, he whispered. Now you're the one who's nuts, Annie whispered back. But Jack grabbed her hand. He pulled her over to the giraffe and been underneath it. The giraffe's legs were so long, Jack and Annie could stand under it. Jack's head barely brushed the giraffe's golden belly. The tall creature froze for a few seconds. Then she moved slowly toward the tree. Jack and Annie walked in the same rhythm as the giraffe. They got closer and closer to the treehouse and closer and closer to the pride of lions. The big lion had stood up. He watched them moving under the giraffe. When the rope ladder was just a few feet away, Jack and Annie dashed out from under the giraffe to the rope ladder. Annie scrambled up first. Jack followed right behind her. As they climbed, the lion growled and leapt at the ladder. The hyenas laughed.
Jack climbed higher than he'd ever climbed. He leapt after Annie into the treehouse. Oh no, I think they're gonna be okay though, don't worry. I know it might be a little scary, but I think they're gonna be okay. Annie had already unrolled the scroll. The riddle was gone. In its place was one shimmering word. Honey. Jack grabbed the Pennsylvania book. He opened it and found the picture of Frog Creek Woods. I wish we could go there, he said. Just then, the giraffe stuck her head through the window. Bye, honey, said Annie, and she kissed the giraffe on the nose. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. And that's the end of chapter nine. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.